I've been the chain for six years with a severely disabled son. As you can imagine, we were happy. It meant our son could have the space he needed, a room of his own and a garden for him to play in. Life was okay. I was working, Barry was working, the girls were happy. Then on June 26, 2011, my son choked in the garden. An ambulance got lost and we lost. Oh, wonderful little boy. Our world fell apart that day. I kept Barry carried on with this. Um, for six months after that, and he had a breakdown on the side of work. He had no choice but to claim ESA, and any of you who were on ESA know it's not a lot of money to keep a partner and three girls. We grieve every day for our boy, and every night we look at that garden and see the tragedy again. And sometimes, yeah, we do think we should move, and other times we feel we might be leaving part of them behind. One thing we don't have is the time to make that choice for ourselves. A letter landed on our Stop, floor. Pick it up, mate. This letter Stop said we must now pay rent to our room, our way. son slept in. And to quote what some it get wet, wonderful okay? person who left a comment in the Liverpool Echo, Kane's room is a luxury that we can't afford. There is no luxury in losing a child. Asking for help from this government who said the vulnerable would be protected made Barry feel like a second-class citizen. It's a crime. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a crime to be poor in this city. We don't for, didn't foresee this happening to us, but it did, and we are barely managing to pay bills and feed our kids. I know for some the choice will be paying this tax or buying food or food. I have paid. <laughs> Barry has paid plenty of tax over the years, but ask for help and you feel you've committed a crime. If falling on hard times is a crime, then yeah, we are guilty, just like a lot of people in this city. We are the easiest targets because how do we defend ourselves? The only way we can is by sticking together and doing whatever is necessary to protect our families and get this cruel tax out. I remember a Liverpool when people stood together and supported each other. What happened? This government wants us to fight each other, turn on each other. Let's show them that that's not what Liverpool does. David Cameron is Robin Hood in reverse. He doesn't steal from the rich to give to the poor. He takes everything from the poor while the rich get looked after. Thatcher government sold social housing, they didn't want it. They are part of the reason there isn't enough homes for people who haven't got the means to get mortgages. What right have they now to this new Tory government to got to start trying to take our homes back off us now? I can't see them build more to rehouse the people they are trying to force out, can you? The vulnerable will be protected. How vulnerable do you have to be? Our lives fell apart, we lost our son. Barry had to break down. We feel vulnerable, but definitely not protected. We feel victimised, bullied and downtrodden by a soulless, inhumane, cruel coalition government. If we do nothing, we don't get hurt. Thank you.